Welcome back. Thanks for being with us. More than half the country is gearing up for the Super Bowl on Sunday to watch either at home or on the road. And either way, a lot of money is about to be spent and made. Details are from NBC's Chris Clackham. By either attending or hosting a Super Bowl party at home or at a bar or restaurant, the National Retail Federation expects consumers to spend over $15 billion this weekend. And of the 188 million people expected to be watching, millions will do so on a brand new TV. It's just a great time of year to score a deal on a TV. Best Buy Shane Kitzman says also driving traditional Super Bowl TV sales this year are the Winter Olympic Games from South Korea. The beauty is you can just keep it and continue to make it part of your living room. And when the Olympics come on, you can enjoy that too. Super Bowl! Some fans won't be watching the Super Bowl on TV, though, but in person after a pretty expensive trip to Minneapolis. Flights, for example, heading in from Philadelphia will run you over $900 and out of Boston over $700. Then there's the hotel room, if you can find one. If you do, it's going to run you over $700. That's per night. Then there's the ticket. Last year, the average ticket price for the Super Bowl was $5,000. This year, it's already at $5,900, according to Vivid Seats. All of which makes that 50-inch for under $500 really look like a bargain. Chris Clackham, NBC News. Well, and that's why they call it a bucket list. You know, yeah, they, it's really true. expensive. You got to save up to do that. <laughs> I do agree with Chris, though. So it's going to be great to watch yeah. it here on NBC 26. Yes. And uh, curl up with the, some In junk the comfort food. of my home. And, yeah, there yeah, you go. It's a good weekend. She'll be working, What's though. the weather? Oh, oh I know. Sorry Come about on. that. Come on. All right, so we're going back into the polar air. I'm going to let you know. As